Our chickens are producing the absolute best eggs that we have ever had in the four years of owning chickens. And today we're gonna tell you exactly how we did it. The first way that our chickens lay better eggs and better tasting eggs, better color, is they have a nice chicken coop. No, I'm just kidding. That doesn't do anything to the eggs, but it's really nice to look at. If you wanna see a build video of how we built this, we have one, you can click the link up here. All jokes aside, one of the best ways we found to increase the quality of our eggs are by feeding some black soldier fly larva or some mealworms. They absolutely love these things. And they're just little dried worms that we feed them. And they have all kinds of minerals and they give them really high quality protein and they just love these things. So we toss them out for them quite a bit and we just give them a big handful, toss it out to them. <laughs> We just get these at Tractor Supply, but there's all different kinds online that you can get. We've had many different kinds. They're all basically the same in my opinion, and the chickens love them all equally, so it's pretty much all about cost. But you could actually grow these black soldier fly larvae if you wanted to. <laughs> Gotta love a rooster. I think the second best way to have a really, really high quality eggs is by giving your chickens some greens and having them on kind of a rotational grazing system. If you can't have them in a chicken tractor, which we've done before, but for our egg layers, I'm not a big fan of doing it. It's just too much moving all year round. So I like having them in an area where I can set up this premier one netting and move them around into different areas. So that way they get different greens. You can see it's, we got so much clover and we got all these greens in here so they can come in and scratch and they can chew those up when they want to. And then behind it, we have tons of area for them to go into. I've seen too many chicken runs that are just dirt and sand there's nothing left growing in them that's not going to be very good for them you're going to have to supplement their diet quite a bit and and to be honest we've had that too in the past when we first had chickens we had that quite a bit we've even had that on this farm here before especially more like in the winter time but if you can give your chickens some nice green grass to chew on to scratch in of course there's ways to supplement it like the mealworms like we just talked about but uh that segues into my next best way to have high quality eggs Get yourself a rooster. One of the best ways to have extremely orange yolks and healthy eggs is by growing some fodder. And you don't only get really high quality eggs, you also stretch your feed bill. Cause we're taking something like oats here and we're growing way more. We're increasing the weight of it. And we're also increasing the bioavailability of the nutrients and minerals and vitamins within these grains. You can do all sorts of things like barley and oats and clover and wheat, but I've personally found that barley does great. Oats is new to us. We've just started doing oats. That has done great for us as well. And we are actually growing these in some bootstrap farmer microgreen trays. These things have worked amazing for us. We're gonna leave a link below so you can go ahead and find these. And if you wanna check out some seed trays as well from bootstrap farmer, click the link below. But let's go ahead and show you guys how we grow our fodder for our chickens and then we'll go ahead and feed it to them. So we start out with some basic oat seed. We put it in a bucket and soak this for 24 hours. After that, we take our bootstrap farmer micro green trays and dump our soaked seed in and make sure to have an even layer. Then we will set that on a rack and repeat this process of soaking seed for 24 hours and spreading onto a tray every day. Twice a day you'll want to water these trays down really well. If the seed dries out, it may not germinate. After just two days, we already have some roots growing and after a few days, we have some greens. It's day seven of growing our oat fodder for our chickens and we could probably let this go a little bit longer. I see that some of them haven't sprouted or haven't started growing the actual green portion of it, but I honestly can't wait. So let's take this and go feed it to the chickens. As you know, we've been growing this for seven days inside and it's done pretty darn well. Last time we did barley, this time we're doing oats. It grows a little bit different, but you can see we've got a pretty good mat of roots at the bottom there. So I'm excited to throw this out for them and enough talking, let's get to it. Here you go, chickens. Ah! 
Well, it looks like they really like it. I didn't think they wouldn't, but they're definitely going crazy for it. And it's interesting because oats is actually something we used to put into our feed that we would mix ourselves. And we noticed that the chickens don't actually enjoy the oats. They don't eat a lot of it. And you tended to have to soak it for them to want to eat it. But doing it this way, they definitely love it. So if you're looking for a good way to, you know, give your chicken some healthy nutrition and also stretch your feed bill a little bit, those those fodder trays are gonna be great for you. And if you're looking to buy fodder trays like what we have, uh, we got ours from Bootstrap Farmer. I'll have a link down below to their website. It was definitely nice doing this again. We did this when we first got chickens and I'm glad I'm getting back into it this time. The next best way to have some really high quality eggs is compost. If you're gonna do anything, this right here, in my opinion, is the best and probably gonna be your easiest way to have high quality eggs because you don't need a ton of space. I know this is a pretty big compost pile here, but you really don't need a ton of space to do this. You can do really small compost piles and these chickens do so well. <laughs> on a compost pile. It's amazing how quickly they turn sawdust and hay and cow poop into really high quality compost. And that's what we're doing here. So let me go show you what this compost used to look like. In the winter time, we put our cows in this big, huge barn because it's better for them, better for us, better for the land. And they're in this huge barn. And instead of just leaving their poop to sit, we wanna create a really healthy environment and it's better for us and better for our garden and better for the cows if we cover up their poop with hay and sawdust so that's exactly what we do let's go take a closer look the area where we have to cover the most is obviously by the hay feeder the cows are outside now so they're out there eating the green grass but every once in a while they still come in and eat the hay and right in this area is just the heaviest manure load and urine load we get in this entire winter barn and we have to cover it quite a bit. Lately, we don't have to so much because they're outside and they're pooping and peeing on the grass, but we need to cover it because we don't want to create an unhealthy environment for them, but we also want to preserve this cow manure and we don't want it to leach off into the air. We don't want it to leach off into the ground. And so we keep it really nice and dry with sawdust. We use a lot of the old hay that they don't want to eat. And uh, it, it's a good way to preserve it. But this right here is what that compost looked like back in December. So from December to now, we've turned what this is into the compost that the chickens now have. And it's a great system. I understand that not all chicken owners have, have cows, but you probably have kitchen scraps and you can compost those as well. And just a side note, we do the same thing for our pigs. We have them in pens when they're farrowing. The rest of the year, they're out on grass and on the greenery and all that good stuff. But when they're in here and they're having the little piglets, we sat down to lay our sawdust and theirs gets a lot more dirty because they tend to drink from the drinker and it gets all muddy and whatnot. So we have to come in and put sawdust and hay in here a lot more often, but we do the same thing for the pigs and we'll take this and we'll give it to the chickens so they can turn it into compost after. We found this system of making compost such an amazing way to not only make compost and to not only get rid of all the cow manure and the bedding in the, in the winter barn, but also an amazing way to increase the quality of our eggs. This one right here, if you're gonna do anything, do this, even if it's a small compost pile, because this has increased the quality of our eggs exponentially. And the color of our yolks is so much better after doing this. And the reason for that is because there's all these different bugs in the, in the compost, which attract the, the chickens to scratch in it, which creates the compost, them scratching and bringing it down and, and, and the compost heating up and whatnot. But there's so many, you can see all day long, they're on top of this compost pile constantly because there's so many good things in there for them that they're looking for all those bugs and it benefits us in so many different ways. And after a while, they're gonna push this down to the ground a lot more. And what we do is we come in with our tractor and we hill this back up for them and it heats up the compost really well. This stuff is honestly ready to go into the garden right now if we wanted to. It doesn't smell like anything. It smells like soil, which is exactly what you want. And this has been doing so well for us. So, so get your chickens some compost and they'll do great on it.
One way to have really high quality eggs isn't just necessarily about taste or the color of the yolk, it's also how clean they are. And if you've ever had it where you're picking up these eggs out of this nasty poopy uh, nest box, which is pretty common and they end up pooping on it and the eggs get all gross and you have to clean them off, it's just, it's no fun. So what we've done is we've installed a hen gear roll away nest box where the chickens can jump up in here. They have some pretty nice, they have a nice little bedding area right in there that they can go ahead and lay. And when they're done laying, the eggs roll to the back. So let's go to the other side and check them out. So it's pretty early in the morning. We've only had one chicken lay an egg. We'll have a few more throughout the day, of course, but you can see that our eggs go right to the back of the rolling nest box and they're so extremely clean. This one was just recently laid. I think I disturbed that chicken in there that was laying another one and I think, I think she'll come back a little bit later, but these eggs are so, so clean and we've been so happy with our roll away nest box. And like I said, if you want one of these, this is made by Hen Gear. The thing I love about this is eggs can store really well on the counter. And of course we can store our nasty poopy eggs, but we tend to go inside and clean the ones that are gross. And then once they're cleaned, you clean off all that, that layer on the outside that protects the eggs from spoiling. So then you have to put it in the fridge, but doing it this way, our egg is so clean. We can just set this in an egg carton on the counter and I can go crack this the next morning and I don't need to clean this thing. We're not gonna get sick from it. It's, it's awesome. So get yourself a roll away nest box and keep your eggs clean. So we're in our kitchen here and no, there's no chickens inside, but we do have eggs that we store on the counter because like we talked about, having clean eggs is very important. So we just store our eggs in an old carton here and look how clean these things are. They're wonderful. But from making all the food, and if you don't know, I love to cook. It is a huge passion of mine. But when you cook, you also have a lot of scraps. And that has been a great way to not only get rid of scraps, but also to give our chickens a more diverse diet instead of just feeding them grains or feeding them like a layer pellet all the time. They get different kinds of nutrients from it. And, and if you didn't know, chickens are omnivores. So yes, we do give our chickens some meat at times. And like, especially when we have like steaks and whatnot, we'll give them the whole bone. They'll, they'll eat off all the extra fat and whatnot that's attached to the bone. We have quite a bit of food scraps right now. As you can see, it's overflowing and it's disgusting. Yeah, it's disgusting to have food scraps. And in the summertime, you have to worry about gnats and stuff. So you gotta keep it usually outside in the summer. But let's go ahead and take this and feed it to the chickens. Food scraps are pretty gross, and I know a lot of people just like to throw them in the trash because it's convenient and you don't have to worry about it, but we save ours, we feed them to the chickens, and sometimes we even feed them to the pigs, but one really great thing about this is that we're reducing our waste, we're also stretching our feed bill at the same time, and the chickens are getting a more diverse diet than just feeding them the grains or the layer pellet. One thing that's super important for chickens is that they get a lot of calcium, and if you have a milk cow, that's awesome. We have a milk cow, and so we have all this other milk, which is what you could see floating around in that gross food scraps. It's a great way to get our chickens a lot of calcium, and you can soak it in your feed. So if you, if you have a milk cow, that's awesome. Feed some of the leftovers to your chickens as well. But if you don't, you can take like your leftover sour creams and, and any dairy products and feed it to your, to your chickens. It's gonna be a great source of calcium for them. So we tend to do that with our leftover milk sometimes and they go pretty wild for it and uh, obviously go crazy for all the kitchen scraps too. It's so important that our chickens get a really good feed and right now we're doing a layer pellet. We have in the past mixed our own feed using like wheat and soybean meal and corn and things like that, but we don't always have the time to do that nowadays. And so instead we've been, we've been buying a really good high quality layer pellet and you know, it's totally up to you. You can do organic, non-organic, that's up to you. But we really enjoyed this layer pellet. It's got all the vitamins and nutrients and everything they need as well as the really high quality protein. We tend to feed a 20% protein, which is a little higher than most layer feeds, but we have really good quality eggs. So if you're looking for better quality eggs, maybe up your protein a little bit. And uh, this is a layer pellet, which is great. 
it doesn't go to waste very easily. So um, we tend to throw this out for them as well every single day. And this is probably the easiest way to get some really good quality eggs for you because it's just normal feed and uh, just make sure you're buying some really high quality stuff. Not everything at Tractor Supply is gonna be great for you. This is something we get from our local feed mill, so it probably won't be near you, so there's no point in me telling you what brand it is, but uh, do your research, make sure you find something with all of the vitamins and nutrients and whatnot that are, is in the actual feed mix itself. So if you're looking for some really great ways to upgrade the quality of your eggs or just have some healthier chickens, I hope these tips helped you and I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna leave some more comments down below that are gonna be very helpful as well. Everybody always does and we appreciate that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys took something out of this and I hope your eggs are a lot higher quality and I hope that your chickens are much healthier after this video. And uh, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.